Well, hello there, my name is Vladimir. I am here at Houston Ketner HQ in St. Wendel. How do you pronounce it? St. Wendel. Yes, that. I'm here with Richard Morgan from Houston Ketner. And we have this thing here, the Black Spirit Floor Amp. Uh, what's the official name of Black Spirit 200? Floor Amp. The Black Spirit 200 Floor Amp, exactly. Yep. And as you can see, somebody at the Houston Ketner had like a saw, so they took the front panel of the amp <laughs> and fused it with the pedal, and it looks cool. Like, I don't know how it turns out in the video, but like the nice sparkly finish on this, and yeah, it looks like professional, so to speak. And <laughs> I'm guessing this is yeah. just basically, it is the Black Spirit amp in just a pedal format, right? Yeah, pretty much. Well, think of it as um, last year we came out with the head. Mm. This year, just a few weeks ago, in fact, we came out with the combo. And this is a floor version which includes the amp. So everything mm. which is in the head, plus effectively the Hughes and Kettner FSM 432 foot switch. It just makes sense. I want to say which camera that. It just makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah, the amp, like the head one, is already like super portable. The combo is also portable and it's like, it's still heavier because of physics, so to speak. Indeed. And I think this is like the next kind of natural evolution of the amp. And yeah, looks cool. Again, it has all of the same things as the amp. And in the clip you just saw, I was recording with the combo, but since they are basically the same thing, uh, we are going to, well, Richard is going to give you an overview of the amp and then we'll dial in some of the sounds you heard in the track in the beginning. So, for the people who don't know what this is, what is it? Yeah, well, this is the <laughs> Black Spirit 200 floor amp, as you can see, if you look down there with me. It's, like I said, identical in features to the Black Spirit 200 head, which, mm. Vlad, you tried at the NAMM show earlier this yep. year, I think, and you went through some of the sounds on. Yep. But if you follow across with me here, you've got this very noticeable red box in the middle, and that is something we call the Spirit Tone Generator. That is at the heart of all the sounds in the amp. Mm. It's been a long-time project of Bernd Schneider, the main H&K engineer and uh, product developer to come up with an analog amp that has everything which is awesome and advantageous about a tube amp in the sound and the response and the feel and the mm. dynamics but doesn't have tubes in it or any of the disadvantages of tubes which you know can yep. break go bad etc and he's come up with the spirit tone generator which he thinks is the way forward mm. you've tested it everybody else should have tested it by now so you should know what you think about that but yeah so the the floor amp has four channels Clean, crunch, lead, and ultra, which go from low gain all the way up to super heavy, high as gain, ultra mayhem, as ultra suggests. Um, across on this side here, we'll go across from this side, you've got the master volume, which is the only control which is not programmable. Mm. Here you've got master resonance and presence controls. Here you've got your EQs. And these knobs also double as effect controls. When you press the effects access button, you go to the second function of each knob. Mm. So here you've got your EQs and also the sagging control and cabinet type control. Sagging refers to power amp sag. That's the equivalent of when you get a tube power amp mm. and you push it more and more and more and it starts to kind of implode in on itself, you know, mm. pushing it and you get that kind of magical tone and feel that we talk about, mm. that mojo. You've got the cabinet type, which I believe you've demonstrated in mm, I the think video that we saw before this video with the different sounds, maybe? That's true, I think so. Yeah, so the Black Spirit 200 has our red box mm. DI out on the back and you've got eight different cabinet types. Mm. So there's a couple of different 1x12s you can choose from, mm. 2x12, a 4x10 and four different 4x12s. Yep. So you've got all of those. Um, across here you can see the effects controls, so you've got a reverb, you've got a delay, and mm. you've got four different modulation controls, chorus, phaser, flanger, and tremolo. Over here, you've got the volume control for each channel or preset, mm. not the master volume. You use this volume control to kind of level out the different presets, and then the master over there to control the overall mm. level of the amp. And here's the gain control, and that's pretty much it. A couple of brand new features for the floor amp are 
you can see here these two pre-loop buttons. That's mm. basically kind of similar to having an external loop switcher where you can have different ah. external effects pedals that you can patch in if you want them. You've got the effects loop over here, mm. which is also on the back for doing that with stuff like reverb, delays, that kind That's of thing. Cool. This might be more for gain controls, that kind mm. of stuff. You've got a boost, which is active for every channel. So you can have a different kind of boost depending on how the amp is set. It mm. will sort of read where you are at the moment and take you up a notch, yeah. take you to 11, so to speak. Finally, the flashing light there is Bluetooth. So you can play Bluetooth backing tracks to it, mm. or you can control the amp mm. by the app for iPad or Android or indeed desktop now. Yeah, it's really cool. We are actually rehearsing for the Rocking Malta 1000 event. We'll be participating later this week. And one of the guys just played the backing tracks for the songs we're going to play by Bluetooth through the amp. Super pra practical. I love it. And the fact that you can control it with a mobile device is really cool as well. So what I thought we could do first is like just recreate a few of the sounds from the song in the beginning. I just realized I didn't do a single clean line in the whole song. So we'll go to the crunch channel right away and let's see what's happening. That's pretty good actually right away. Hold on. Uh, because we are not in the effects access mode, it's not blinking. It means we're reading the top row of what's going on. Back down the gain a little bit. Maybe a bit less bass because it's a lead thing. Mid's good, treble, let's see. Yep, I like that. And then we go to the effect access mode. There was quite a lot of reverb happening. And then we'll start bringing in the delay. Delay level first. Feedback was actually pretty short because I only need like one repeat. Uh -huh. And then I actually ended up adjusting the delay time by hand because my I couldn't wrap my head around what subdivision it basically is because I'm playing this triplet thing. And it needs this certain kind of repeat. That. <laughs> this is how professional I am with delays, but you know, <laughs> like, uh, the good thing is that if you are using the iPad app, I think you can like dial in there's controls for the delay time, like... If, yeah, you can be really exact about it. So yeah. if, if you're recording a song in Logic or whatever, and you've got a BPM of mm. whatever, 120, you can make the delays exact yeah. to that if you need it. With triplets, obviously, th there's no subdivisions or whatever, but yeah. with, so with triplets, yeah. Yeah, it might I mean, be more it, tricky. It, but yeah, if I could count that, I could still probably tap it in with a foot switch as yeah. well, like from here. Yeah. But I just cannot wrap my head up, <laughs> like, <laughs> what this is, but... That's one of the sounds that was happening there. So <laughs> yeah, we got that. And if you want to store this, I think we are in the preset mode, if I remember. No, we're in the stop box mode. Okay. So, so actually, it stores it automatically there on the crunch yes, channel. Yes, it will, yeah. Okay, so that's nice. Uh, I had a bunch of lead sounds, so if I go to lead, what we just did is actually say it on the crunch channel. Let's create our epic worship type of lead thing. By the way, I call that song the worship song, kind of slightly jokingly, but also seriously, because it is that type of playing style and sound that many people like. Yes, like there's definitely a genre of music now, which I would refer to as worship music, yeah. and it does kind of sound like that, like yeah. loads of heavy delays and reverb and stuff like mm. that, a thick distortion and stuff. Yeah, and I mean, people playing that kind of music are also really like open to these kind of compact solutions, because there's not a lot of space at many churches and such where they play, and this could be a really good solution. We do understand that 
some people might not be able to use this because of, well, I guess the name. I don't know. Now I'm going to be honest and say that like a couple of people did actually write to us on Facebook and say, hey, I play in a church mm. or similar and I actually don't feel like I can comfortably use an amp which mm. is called Black Spirit and I, I can understand. Yeah, absolutely. Like, uh, we do not encourage you to get in fight with your pastor because <laughs> of an amp. In that case, just get something else. But yeah. Do you reckon we should do a white spirit? version or something. <laughs> or, it could be like or a the special sacred spirit. <laughs> it could be like a special edition. No, we can't do anything which is with two S's in the title. No, no. That's a German company. That does not work. <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> All right, lead start. Out of the effects for a second, I'm going to EQ this a little bit. By the way, uh, the EQ kind of resets itself when I turn, like, for example, the bass knob. Okay, so kind of effects, like sound-wise were there. Uh, let's get back to the effects. And again, quite a lot of delay. Then this time we do want to have quite a lot of feedback. S let's see. <laughs> We can have more, quite a lot of more actually. In the mix, there's a lot of delay, but it's kind of, you don't hear that because it kind of blends in there yeah. nicely. Yeah. Like, I completely understand why people play this stuff because, <laughs> like, it's super fun. This kind of sounds. Uh, what else? I had a like a huge chorusy <laughs> rhythm guitar track, <laughs> something you do not hear that often anymore. Uh, we're going to just break this patch right now because uh, I was also using the crunch channel. The alto channel is a actually, yeah, let's go back to the crunch channel because uh, the lead or ultra channel a bit too much for me for yep. a tele rhythm guitar sound yeah. so this is where we are now uh, uh, yeah the problem with what we've actually just done is we're on stomp box mode mm. and i didn't realize we were going to save presets with different delays because now with stomp box mode the delays and the modulation transfer between all the mm. four channels that's true and you switch them on and off like this if we'd done preset mode we could have saved exactly all the settings yeah. but yeah so sorry for that but it, it's so it's all right this is, i'm just kind of demonstrating how easy and like if you have a sound in your head it doesn't take long to yeah, yeah. dial one yeah. in so for this one we we'll probably take the delay level way down maybe well not quite off but almost and also I'm going to back down the feedback quite a lot and then we go to the modulation type and I had some chorus so as you can see the C, F, P and T so chorus, flange, phaser and tremolo yep yep and kind of when I start to dial it in Maybe the um, the intensity is off. Try that. Oh, the yes. There's there a second note for that. <laughs> and I think I drowned that sound with a bunch, bunch of <laughs> reverb as well. So this was roughly my rhythm guitar sound in the kind of the last thing in the song. Also did the edge thing with 
almost the same sound. That thing, and it continued for a minute or something. <laughs> yeah, but that's how easy it is to dial in sounds and it covers a lot of ground effects wise. I know people love to use like some more special things, but it covers all the basics I need personally. And again, you can save them as presets or get kind of save them per channel and you can trigger trigger kind of different effects from here. And there was a third one? Oh, no. I'm forgetting things already like. There is a third mode. Oh. Yeah. It's um, been a long day. <laughs> it has been a long day. We didn't sleep well either. No, it's, it's so hot super in hot. Germany. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. and this is the last shoot of the day. It's and true. we're all we're done basically. But yeah. let's carry on. If we get a little close up of the amp here, I can just show the guys what that is. So here you'll see it might look like a 56, but that actually says SB. So that's stomp box ah. mode. I get a lot of people writing to me saying, why am I stuck on preset 56? <laughs> you're not, you're on stomp box mode. But yeah, so the second mode is preset mode. And the third mode, which is new for this amp, is the direct seven mode. You'll see you've got seven oh, different yeah. switches there and each one will let you access one of up to seven different presets. So if you've got a, a set, or let's say you're playing a, a show where you need up to seven sounds, mm. you've got one button per sound, and that's all you need to do. Oh, that's more than enough for me. Yeah. That's really cool. So, so you, have, you have your bank of presets, you have the up to seven presets, and then you can also trigger, like stop box mode, where you can trigger stuff. Uh, effects loops, new ones, and I'm guessing, Price-wise, this might be a little bit more than the head because of the foot switchy thing. Included. Yeah, exactly. It will be just if you sort of imagine like the head yeah. plus that. And I think, although don't confirm me on this, I think <laughs> minus a little bit, and that's where that's where we'll be with this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, by the time this video comes out, I think the product is also out. So there might be links below in the description. Check the pricing and all the features and everything there. There are a bunch of other cool videos from SpiritCon coming or have been released by that point. Check out my playlist and I'm going to link some other videos people have done here as well. Thank you so much for this video. Thank you. And subscribe, like, all of those things. You know how YouTube works. Thanks for watching this video. I shall see you next time.